Hey YouTube. Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your friend Miriam, aka Lucky Number 78, and I'm here with a pretty cool unboxing, uh, one that I've wanted to do for a while. And um, this comes to us courtesy of my parents. This is a belated part of my belated uh, graduation gift from college, mainly because this is what I chose. Um, and I am indecisive, so I subscribe to a three-month subscription of uh, Japan Crate just to try it out and review it for y'all. And their Black Friday promotion was you order a Japan Crate and you get this little mini crate. But the mini crate was supposed to have shipped a week before the big crate, but the big crate arrived on the same day. So I have two crates to open for y'all. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Um, obviously, their package says Japan Crate Sugoi. Sugoi means great or amazing or incredible in Japanese. And here I have a smiling Fujisan and some smiling clouds. And this is the sample pack. So, here's what we're looking at. First thing I see here is something Mario Kart related. This is all Mario Kart, and I think this was probably gum. Yep. So we have Mario Kart 8 gum. Mario Kato. Um, I'm really bad at reading Japanese. But it clearly says Gamu. So, we have Luigi, Rosalina, Mario, uh, who is that? The Koopa Kids, so Koopa, whatever. Um, Ninshu. Yoshi, Luigi again, Mario again, uh, Lakitu, Peach, and a different Mario. Cool! So that's pretty cool. I like that. I love Mario Kart. I love all things Mario, basically. And the Lakitu is my favorite. So. That's awesome. That's a great first first thing. Um, it's the same company that made the card gum of Mario that I've tried. So let's try a Mario out. Oh, and it's clearly clearly the same gum as I I got in the card gum. It should be lemon flavor. Yep. Good lemon flavored gum. That's a great start. Hmm. Next thing we got here is Tohato Caramel Corn. Let's try this. taste is very clearly the love child of cereal and Cracker Jacks. Very tasty. Next thing we got here, Ramu Reis Re Rum Raisin Soft Candy. Um, rum Raisin reminds me of Sakura Trick, where it was the favorite ice cream flavor of one of the characters. And indeed, there is a picture of Rum Raisin ice cream on there. So 
So here's what the candy looks like, sort of like a weird Whopper. Let's taste it. Mmm. Not what I was expecting at all. The, um, the rum flavor is very strong, but it's also tangy, and it's a chewy candy. I'm gonna eat the other half here. Overall, it's pretty pleasant. You can tell it's supposed to be ice cream flavored. Um, interesting. Not exactly like any other sweet I've ever had. Ooh. The next thing is, I think, there's no, there's no English tag on this one, but I think it's a Taiyaki chocolate flavor. And this one, I'm gonna save this one for my friend Daniel, who's been asking for Taiyaki um, pretty non-stop. And then the last thing in this little mini crate is a Cookies and Cream Head Joy, which is made by the same company as Pocky, and it's basically an inside-out Pocky. So let's try this. I've actually never had this, but I know you can buy these in, in your regular grocery stores sometimes in America. And it comes in a similar little foil pouch as Pocky does. So... Take one out, and immediately I'm hit with this wafting vanilla smell. Like you can smell, smell that vanilla, and it's you know that's always a good sign. I love vanilla, so it, it looks like a little brown stick with white inside, and that's what it is. So let's try it. Mmm. Oh man. Eat your heart out, Pocky. That's way better. Mmm. That really tastes like a cookie. It's better than Oreo, better than Pocky. Yeah. Mmm, mmm. Okay. So that's the mini crate, which says mini on it. Okay. That was fun. That was a good little bonus. Now let's try the real December 2015 Japan Crate. This one says premium. And you can see, looking in there, that it is indeed premium. There is so much stuff in there. Um, here's the little booklet, which reads left to right. I mean, right to left, like it should. And it has a little manga in there. But it also tells you what everything is. So I'm going to skip to that in case I need a little help figuring out what I'm eating. So the first thing I see here in, is, in here is a little gashapon capsule. So I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of toy in here. And there is... Ooh, and it's Zelda. You can't really love Zelda more than I do. It's Link, the hero of Legend of Zelda. And he comes with his sword, shield, here's his head, and a little pan flute. Really cute. Alright. That's a great start. I love Zelda. How to get him back in the capsule is the hard part. Let's put him on the desk for now. Very cute. Okay, we got something with a character that looks like Doraemon, but probably is not. Ooh, my Ya... Sai... 
find out. I, I already accept defeat because I don't know anything. Um, here it is. Oh, there's three of them. And each of them is a different flavor, and they're all savory. We have tonkatsu flavor, which is pork cutlet. You better not eat this one inside because we have a kosher house. Uh, chizu. Cheese, I think. And yasai sarado, sarado, vegetable salad. Yep. So I'm gonna try the salad one because that sounds the most appealing to me. And these are called umaibo. And it looks like a little churro or something. It looks like a big Cheeto. Mmm. Oh my god. That's really good. I'm just going to take the one bite. I promised my friend Daniel I'd share with him. That's absolutely delicious. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to try another bite. That is so good. Mmm. It's got this nice, salty, sweet, vinegary coating to it. I don't know why it's supposed to taste like salad. It doesn't really. It tastes like the best Dorito you ever had. It's like if Doritos and tacos and falafel and pizza all had this amazing baby. Or were like all whipped up into some concoction, you added salt, you added taco seasoning, and you put it on a Cheeto, that would be that snack. That's one of the most delicious junk foods I've ever tasted. Um, I'm a little sorry I know anything tastes that good. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here, by the way. Alright, the next thing has a picture of buttered corn on it. Let's say scone, scone, scone. I'll tell you, this is really hard. Black bean and soy scones. These scones combine grilled corn and black beans with a hint of soy sauce. This perfect balance of salty and savory flavors makes for a uniquely tasty snack. Look at page 12 to learn more. Oh, that's cool. Every page uh, has information about what you're eating. Well, I'm going to open this up. I'm very curious about this. And they look like little Cheetos. Again, I keep mentioning Cheetos, but they really look like Cheetos. Hmm. They taste like corn. Not like corn chips, but like you're eating corn off the cob. They're like a little sweet, a little milky, a little buttery. That's really tasty. Mmm. One more. One more. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a fine. I'm gonna have to look for these scones. Mm. Delicious. Next thing seems like a powder. I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, bad kid beer. Not actually beer, but a magic powder that creates a creamy grape soda when mixed with water. 
Watch for the fun tingling sensation on your on your tongue as you sip it. I'm, I'm not gonna taste it, but it, it looks fun. I like, you know, fake beer and silly little things like that. Um, this is another powder. Oh. Okay. Oh, and everybody got a flavor of this. There are three possible flavors. I got strawberry, Ichigo, and it's called Awa Moko Moko. Mix these powders with water to create fizzy, fun, drinkable creations. Possible flavors include strawberry, melon, and banana. That's great. Sounds fun. Next thing looks like something cola flavored. Hiyashua. Hiyashua Cola. A cola flavored adventure with three different levels fizzy, soothing, and gummy. Each bag also includes one big tropical flavored hard candy. Interesting. Let's open it up. I don't see anything big in here, but let's try one of these cola candies. It's a whole bag of them, like a big bag of hard candies. See, they're these little bitty hard candies, like. Mmm. Tastes just like Coca-Cola. Love it. This is absolutely delicious. I assume this is the soothing. Mmm. Tastes exactly like Coca-Cola. It's really tasty. I'm very pleased with that. Um, here's the next thing. I'm probably gonna take this out, or it would take too long to eat a whole hard candy on camera. This is Nagai Sawagumi Orange. This sour gummy tape is covered in sugar, coated in sugar, and has a delicious orange taste. It's long enough to share with friends, but tasty enough to eat by yourself with a mischievous emoji. Emoji. Well, I will share with friends, but I will also try it. And it does say on it, orenji in katakana. And it is a very soft gummy. Hmm. It tastes exactly like the little fruit gummies that my rabbi used to give out on Shabbat. I'm sure no one else knows what that experience is, but that's what it reminds me. Okay, this is Pachi Shua Dynamite Melon Soda. A tasty spin on classic melon soda. Drink it straight from the bottle or try freezing it for a fun, icy experience. Is this a real soda? one thing I can't share, because it is indeed a soda in what looks like a, a super soaker. Let's at least try it. How do you open it? There we go. It doesn't taste like soda, it tastes like a popsicle. That's very strange. I don't know if I like that or not. It's not very sweet. 
which is a hallmark of foreign things, you know, because in America we assume everything is going to be the sweetest. And sometimes it's nice to get something that's a little more subtly flavored. There's clearly some jello in here, which is weird. The, the jello consistency is, is strange with the melon flavor. Ugh. I don't know if I like this or not, actually. I'm gonna try to bring that down to Daniel to share, because that's not my thing. I love melon flavor, but I think that's a little too strange for me. That consistency is weird. Here's the next thing. It's not, it's a pretty good ratio so far. Uh, this one I'm not gonna do because it's a do-it-yourself kit. Cute Tororin uh, Parfait DIY. One of the cutest and tastiest DIY kits around. This thick, rich strawberry parfait comes with a pink candy topping and icing. Add your own candies and toppings to make it even more amazing. I, I'm going to do that later, probably with my parents. We have three more items in here, it looks like. And just to clear my palate, I'm going to have another one of these corn scones that are so tasty. thing here is Pocky Demitas. It's a half Pocky. A new Pocky made from high quality seasonal ingredients. This limited edition treat is only available for a short time in Japan. Shorter Pocky sticks coated in a dark and luxurious chocolate that goes great with black coffee. I love black coffee. I love dark chocolate. I love Pocky. There is no way this cannot be good or can be not good. Here's the um, little dark packaging. The Demitas, by the way, is the little cup you drink espresso out of. And you can see why they named it after this, by how dark this is compared with normal Pocky. Mmm. Not only is the coating dark chocolate, and by the way, it's that Japanese dark chocolate that's a higher grade, very dark, very rich compared to American dark chocolate. But the stick is dark chocolate as well. If you like dark chocolate, which I do, this is a treat for you. Remind me if I ever go to Japan to go during the winter so I can have that. Here's the biggest item. Hopu. Pop candy. Fujia lollipop bag. These traditional fruity lollipops are a favorite with Japanese children. Simple, yet satisfying. Flavors include orange, grape, apple, and strawberry. So there's a whole bag of lollipops pops in here. That is so nice. What a nice treat. Well, let's try orange. Because I always love orange lollipops. And the, the wrapper is so cute. There's a little kid on it. It's, it's really cute. Smells like orange, even. Mmm! Well, this negates, there's a pattern of a hand on there, which is very cute. Can't really see it, but. This negates what I just said about Japanese sweets being less sweet. This is extremely sweet, and it tastes like citrus minus the tang. So it's got that delicious, mellow flavor of like a tangerine or something. Mmm. I'm very fond of that. And there's a little taste of the rind, which is one of my favorite flavors. I love marmalade. So, 
This is a winner. Yes. Yes to that. And the last thing in the box. Celio Lifeguard Drink. This super life drink contains seven plus vitamins and amino acids and brings quite a jolt with it. A nice mix of honey and royal jelly makes this drink tasty and smooth. I don't know about that. I think I'm gonna... Uh, it, it is an energy drink, and it's the end of the work day, and I'm a little tired, and I want a nap. So even though I do everything for you, my loyal viewers, I'm not going to drink this energy drink at this moment. And I'm sorry for that, but it's just not the right time. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Mm, I hope you're not too disappointed about the energy drink. But let's recap this. So they sent the awesome energy drink, which I'm going to enjoy later. An entire bag of lollipops, which is a huge, nice value and beautiful thing. This delicious looking parfait do-it-yourself kit. Three of these delicious, um, I don't even know what they're called again. Um, Umaibo. I think they are, they might be my, they are my favorite item in the box. I'm gonna go, come right out and say it. The three Umaibo are the tastiest things in this month's box. The delicious cola candy, which I highly recommend. The interesting sawagumi orange strip. Strawberry powder. Grape powder. These scones, which are delicious. The Pokey Demitas. The only thing in the entire box I didn't like, this strange melon thing. And last, but certainly not least, Link from The Legend of Zelda. So, thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments below what you liked and didn't like. And questions, comments, concerns. And um, thank you so much for watching. Please continue to watch. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, stay beautiful. Peace. <laughs>